I am sick and tired of having no storage on my MacBook and on my phone. So today, I finally decided that it is time to go through my MacBook and my phone and just do a digital declutter. I pretty much decluttered like every area of my home for the most part. The last thing left is definitely to do my digital space. This is probably the biggest one because I have files from literally years ago. Like ever since I started using my phone and my MacBook, which is probably like a good 10 years ago, I have stuff since then so it is definitely overdue to go through it but I wanted to film this video in hopes that you guys will do this along with me kind of declutter your space and maybe like pause the video after I explain what I'm doing so you can do it too I'm definitely gonna film this in parts because there's no way in hell I'm doing this all in one day it is going to literally take me forever I already know the main reason I want to film this is because last night I was editing a YouTube video I kept getting this message pop up saying that my storage was full in iMovie so it literally would not let me import any more footage or edit at all. I kept having to go through and delete a bunch of documents and videos and stuff from my downloads so that way I had more room to import the footage that I needed to edit. And it was literally, oh my god, it was so irritating. So I kind of made a list on my phone of things that I really wanted to do. And I might end up doing more, but these are like the main things that I want to hit because these are going to take me the longest, I think. So the first thing I have is doing my MacBook downloads. I know that one's gonna take forever because I've never gone through those and then the second thing is gonna be my phone photos and videos that's gonna be another one that's huge I've also never really gone through that honestly when I get a new phone I always debate on if I should just like start fresh and have nothing because then I would have all this storage but then I'm like wait but I kind of want my old pictures and videos next is gonna be my apps I don't have that many apps so that one shouldn't take very long and then the last thing I wanted to do was customize my sidebar and maybe my app home screen on my phone but like the sidebar on my my MacBook like at the very bottom so it's just easier to access what I actually need I kind of already did this but if you haven't already I would definitely start with just clearing your MacBook screen deleting everything that is on your home screen or putting it into a folder whatever I feel like it's just nice to start with a base so way you don't go insane by the way I'm really sick right now so if I sound sick that is why because I'm actually sick but I've got some hot coffee here to keep me going Nothing a little coffee can't fix, right? Without further ado, let's get started on these downloads. We're starting with one gigabyte available out of 494. Why? Why do I have this much stuff? Are you guys the same way? Like, why? So I'm actually gonna start with like the larger files because luckily it sorts it for you and tells you which files are the biggest. So you can delete those if you don't need them and then go through the small ones. Also, I don't know what this other is. 32 gigabytes of other. What does that even mean? Okay, apparently I can't screen record while I am deleting files because every time I click on a file, it stops the screen recording. I'll just like update you guys on my progress. So right now I have one gigabyte available and I'm gonna go through and delete everything that I can and then I'll pop back on here. I encourage you guys to do the same. Go delete some of your downloads. Okay, I literally just discovered where most of my stuff is stored. iMovie, literally 406 gigabytes. What? How do I delete all of this? I don't have that many videos on iMovie. Every time I edit a video and upload it, I usually delete it off iMovie. I don't know how it has 460 gigabytes. That is like my whole Mac storage. How do I delete that, you guys? I'm gonna have to Google this, okay? I'd rather just have my YouTube videos and stuff that I've already edited because I don't think I need all of those clips. I honestly never like reuse old clips. I'm not the type of person to like keep B-roll and like reuse it. I'd rather just refilm it. What if I just delete my whole iMovie library? The video I've been working on, I downloaded already, so it's already saved to my computer. So that way I can just re-upload it to iMovie when I edit it. So I think I'm just gonna delete it. I'm doing it. Can't undo this action. Delete. If this solves my problem, I'm gonna be so happy. Watch all my photos and videos be gone. Honestly, I wouldn't even be that mad. Wow, it was that easy with one freaking click of a button. Why does iMovie store all of that? I don't think you guys understand. Like I still have all my pictures and videos, but I just freed up 400 gigabytes of storage. Why didn't I do this sooner? Should I still go through the rest of my documents? I don't really want to. I only have nine gigabytes of documents. That's it. I'm so excited. Okay, another thing I just thought of that I want to go through is my notes app. I have way too many notes. 
and I know that I do not use any of those. Like for instance, my old grocery list, I know I have like a thousand on there. You know, this kind of reminds me of going through my closet. Like I have all these files that I haven't looked at in like years. Same thing with clothes. Like I have all these clothes that I haven't worn in years. Like why am I keeping them? I think it's because I'm just too lazy to go through them. Okay, another thing I'm doing after I delete all of the documents that I don't need is I'm gonna categorize everything that I do have and put it into folders so that way it's super easy to find. Like I have a bunch of folders on my desktop. As you guys can see, I have green screen and then I have nursing books because I have a bunch of PDFs that I use for nursing school. And then I have all my sound effects that I use and then all the music that I use for my YouTube videos. If you have a Mac, don't forget to empty your trash because your storage will not actually be freed until you empty the trash. And I like that it has this because if you accidentally delete something, you can go recover it. Also, another thing is Apple likes to save all the files that you send through messages. So you have to make sure you go and delete all of those because that takes up a lot of storage as well, which is annoying because like, who cares? I don't want, I don't want that saved. I wish there was like a delete all. Is there? Select all. Oh my god. I still don't know what other is. What is other from Mac storage? Okay, so I found this article that basically just explains how to delete all that storage that's labeled other on your MacBook. So it gives you all these ways to do it manually. And then if you scroll down more, you can also like pay for a way to do it. But I just did it manually. It actually took kind of a long time, but I think it was worth it. Okay, update. I have 410 gigabytes available. Oh my god! Today is the day that I go through my phone, my photos, my videos, my apps, and I also wanted to go through my notes. I think I'm gonna get started on doing my apps first, and then I'll go through my photos. And I have to show you guys how many I have, because it's ridiculous. But honestly, I felt so good yesterday after clearing out my downloads and my documents on my laptop. So I'm kind of motivated to keep going. This is your sign to go through your phone right now. Okay, so I started by first going through my photos. I basically just went through like the albums I've created and deleted any albums that I no longer need. And then after this, I decided to do my screenshots because I felt like that would be an easier place to start than like my actual photo album. And if you didn't know, you can actually swipe your finger across and that'll select multiple photos so you don't have to click each one individually. Then after this, I kind of gave up. It took me like an hour, over an hour probably, and I deleted like 5,000 photos. That was good enough for me. And then after this, I decided to do my apps because that would be an easier accomplishment than doing all my photos. I didn't have too many apps, but I kind of just cleaned up my home screen. And some of the apps I didn't actually delete, but I just removed from my home screen so I didn't see them directly. A lot of them were like food apps, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A. Next, I wanted to customize my sidebar and my app dock. So I started with my sidebar. I had all these tags that were titled different colors. I'm not really sure why. I've had them since I like got my MacBook. So I decided to just delete all of them. After that, I just added all the folders that were on my home screen onto my sidebar, just to make it easier to find the things that were in them. And then I also just retitled them and made them look nice. Then I customized my app dock by just deleting all of the apps that I like no longer use and then putting the apps down there that I actually search for all the time just to make it easier on myself, you know? Okay, and we have made it to the final task of this video. So I decided to go through my notes. I have a shit ton of notes that I know I do not look at anymore, but I also have a lot of notes that are important because I tend to just like, whenever something pops in my brain, I'll just open my phone and write it in my notes. I also write like voiceovers in my notes. I save a bunch of recipes, websites, podcasts to listen to, YouTube videos to watch, literally everything you can think of. So I pretty much just went and deleted everything that I didn't use. And then I also categorize things into categories so that are way easier to find. Also, please don't roast me for some of these notes because, um, I don't know, you could probably find something embarrassing in here. But I started with 437 notes and finished with 114.
Okay, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you followed along with me and deleted some stuff. This has honestly been a challenge for me. I still want to go through way more of my photos, but I feel like I cleared a lot of it out. Let me know what you guys deleted because I'm very curious and let me know how many photos you started with. I know I probably had a lot more than the majority, but I'm working on it, okay? I just take pictures of everything in videos and I make TikToks and stuff, so I have a lot on my camera roll. If you stuck around for this entire video thank you so much for watching i literally appreciate every single one of you i am almost to a thousand subscribers which i'm so excited about that has been my like dream goal since i started making youtube videos is just a thousand subscribers i just thought that'd be a cool number to hit so if you're a real one please subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see next if you like these decluttering videos i could probably do a whole house declutter if you guys want to see that i'm sure i have more things to get rid of but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one